What's good, friends and family? It's the Flip Flop. So you, I've been promising you guys um, DR horror stories, you know. Um, you know, it's a paradise, beautiful country, but as I said, I'm gonna give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, just so you guys see, I keep this. This story will entail why I'm definitely afraid of mosquitoes. I use off every single day. Uh, Coleman has deep. Okay, so let's get into the story. About um, eight years ago, there was a dengue outbreak where people were getting sick from the mosquitoes. Dengue is a form of malaria, I would say, and people were getting sick from the mosquitoes. So I'm out and about in uh, Santiago. I actually have a bunch of girls with me. We're doing promotions for a show I'm doing and an event I was doing in Santiago. On the way back, um, I just start feeling, you know, I start feeling a little dizzy. So the girl goes, hey, you got a fever, let's pull over. Get me some, some ibuprofen, some orange juice, and we head back to Sasua. I get to Sasua, I call my fiance at the time, and I'm like, hey, I'm not feeling too good, I'm gonna come over. So I go to her house, her and her mom's are nursing me. We're on like day three, and the fever hasn't gone down. I've taken a bunch of meds. I'm sick as hell, I'm vomiting nonstop. And they like have a, a meeting out front, you know, her, her family. And um, they have like an intervention. They come in and tell me, they listen, you need to go to the hospital. Something's not right. You know, us being guys, I'm like, man, I just got the flu. It'll be okay. It'll go away in a couple of days. I'll be fine. And they're like, you know, please go to the hospital. I'm like, I'm cool. I'm good. I'm fine. A couple of days. I'll be all right. No big deal. So day three, I wake up at like three in the morning, full of energy, feeling great. I'm like, see, I told you it's over with. I'm fine, no big deal. So that's three in the morning. At exactly 4 a.m., that right after that, an hour later, I crash. I'm in dire pain, I'm vomiting nonstop again. I go home real quick to get some clothes. When I go home, in a span of 15 minutes, I vomited three times. I mean, it was painful too, because I, I couldn't eat nothing, couldn't drink anything, so I'm in pain, just, I'm nauseous. So I call up, I said, let's go to the doctor, let's go to the hospital because something's wrong. Like now, now I'm facing the fact, like something's really wrong here. Well, she takes me to the medico in Montiano. Now the reason she takes me to the medico in Montiano is because there's an American doctor, well I'm sorry, a doctor who had practiced in America who also speaks English, who comes to that medical twice a week. So she figures better to go a place where she knows someone to speak English to me and help me understand better what's going on with me. So we go there. As soon as I walk in, now I hadn't looked in the mirror in days, but as soon as I walk in, the doctor's like, get him a bed ready. Before they even check me out, before they take my blood pressure, my temperature, he looks at me and says, get, my, get, get me a bed. I look in the mirror, my eyes are sunken in, I'm like super dehydrated, I look like a zombie, basically the walking dead. So they, they do, do, do the intake, I'm in there, um, giving me, they shoot me up with a bunch of IV because I'm so dehydrated, uh, antibiotics as well, you know, until they find out what's going on. Uh, so the doctor comes in the next day. Now I've got a room full of people. It's one room, a twin size bed. I'm in the IV hooked up. I'm in dire pain, but I'm waiting for this doctor to tell me what's going on. There's a room full of people. My fiance, all her family were there, you know, trying to support me, trying to make sure I was okay. He walks in and in English, he says, well, you won't die of HIV, but you might die of dengue. And everybody starts laughing. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? I mean, I'm sitting here in pain. And I'm like, did he just make a joke? And the day prior, what really had me nervous, the day prior, a doctor died from dengue in, the, in Porta Plata. So now I'm like, well, damn, if a doctor died from this, what the hell are my chances? So he puts me on this course of antibiotics. He said, there's really no cure for it. All you can do is take antibiotics and keep you hydrated as much as we can. So we're going on, I believe, day five. I mean, they call it the break bone disease. It, you actually feel your bones hurting. Like, I never felt bone pain before but I was on the floor, I was in tears, I was in so much pain. I walked around looking for a nurse because at nighttime they lock it up and you're kind of in there with limited staff. I walked around to try to get medicine for the, for the nausea, try to get meds for the pain because I was in so much pain. Um, they give me some meds, they give me like the pregnancy meds for the nausea, excuse me, um, to try to calm the nausea, the nausea down. Because there was one day where I threw up eight times and my fiance was in tears in the corner like, please don't die, please don't die. I actually thought I was gonna die. Like it was, it was that serious to the point where, I mean, there was no, I had, there was nothing I could do but take this IV, take these antibiotics, 
and hope to get better. Now, mind you, I still have an event coming up this Saturday. So I'm in the hospital stuck. Doctor wants me to stay there for like minimum two weeks. So by day eight, I'm feeling a little bit better, still in pain, but I'm like, listen, I got to get to my event. I promoted this event in Santiago. I have artists coming. I have Americans coming. I've got to get there. So I check myself out. I'm still not 100%, but I'm okay enough to move on. He, tell, he gives me a list of things I got to do as far as antibiotics and staying hydrated. Um, so I go to, the, go to the show, feeling like crap, but I'm there. show was a success. It was fun. Uh, but then I said, you know what? Let me go home, rest for another couple of days. My girl's, uh, she's nursing me. Um, let's see. I was sick. Like, it took a while to get better. It took maybe a couple months to really get 100%. But I was probably really sick for about 10 days. And in 10 days, I lost over 25 pounds. I became a twig because I couldn't eat nothing, couldn't drink anything. Everything came up. No matter what it was, it came up. Gatorade, water, it came up. So that was a real crazy experience for me. And it was the mosquitoes that got me. Come to find out mosquitoes work in shifts. I didn't know this. Daytime mosquitoes carry all the diseases. Nighttime mosquitoes, they cool, I guess. You know, they just they just bite you. Um, so that's my horror story for DR. It's one of many. I have a few, but I just throw this one out there because I've been promising you guys a couple of stories. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a crazy incident. I almost died from dengue fever. Um, later, I ended up catching chikungunya, which is a mild form of dengue. Um, that actually wasn't bad. I took some ibuprofen. The biggest problem with chikungunya was the numbness in your hands and, in your hands and feet. I was numb in my hands for probably about a month or two until I really got the feeling back in my hands. But the mosquitoes are very dangerous. That's why I stay with this. I tell everybody, have the off on you. They say this causes cancer. Well, let me tell you something. If you ever get dengue fever or malaria, one of these diseases these mosquitoes carry, it hurts. So I'd prefer to rock with this than to go through that again. Um, so far, I've been lucky, knock on wood. Uh, but yes, that's one of my horror stories here in Dominican Republic. Uh, Flip-flop and dengue. <laughs> dengue almost won. All right, so appreciate you guys. More to come.